Hi guys and welcome to Discovering Dorset the Showway. Um, I'm not really sure what my intentions are today, I just wanted to get out. But I have gloves with me and I have a tactical spade slash shovel type thing. Which was kind of given to us by Alex Does Stuff. Alex? Uh, so we'll see if we can do some dump digging maybe. Um, if we stumble across anything else on the way then we might do that as well. Let's see how it goes. So this here is the uh, tactical shovel, folding shovel, spade type thing that Alex gifted us. And uh, we're right back down where we left off last time. We found a few things down here and that's the first thing that I've had out of this little bit that I started digging here, this little square you can see. And it's a lovely little one ounce, one ounce marmite. I'm making it look worse and worse the more I rub it. Hang on a second. There you go. A lovely little one ounce marmite. Not super duper old, but again, this is the wartime dump, uh, so a wartime marmite. Sweet, nice little starter. So I was just clearing the hole out a bit, and I found this, which at first I thought was a little light bulb or something, but it's not. I don't know how well the camera will pick it up, but you can see that bubble in there? That's full of liquid. I don't know what it's full of, but it's sealed like this. Look, sealed like that, and it's full of liquid. So I've got no idea what that is. What an interesting little find. So next up, we've got some uh, some bone. Looks like maybe a bit of spine or something. Uh, this is the bottom of a fence post just here. Look. Uh, which was blocking us for ages, I didn't know why we weren't getting anything but just here we've got a carbon rod for an old battery, uh, old pan handle and this bottle here which is quite nice, it says Hans and Dorset Mineral Water Co nice little bottle that one glad we've had something and embossed so can't complain so we've shifted quite a lot of dirt since I uh, last got up with you guys and this is what we found it's an old padlock look. still together, no idea what it would have been on um, but it's a lovely old padlock oh look, cool cleaned up so next out one little jar this uh, I don't know if it would have been a, a stand for something or the bottom of something or the top of something but whatever that is a little odorono that way up Let's see if the camera will focus odorono you can kind of see it on there there you go odor oh no little perfumery bottle can i say that any more times and <laughs> this lovely little pop top tiny little pop top clear glass bottle this is very nice my favorite one so far so it turns out we were digging in the wrong direction for most of that, so I had to restart and start digging in a different direction, but we did have some bits pop up. So this bit of blue and white mug, which I believe the rest of that label would be that. It's got a little crown symbol there. Um, uh, uh, yeah, a Union Jack, oddly enough. Part of a hobnail boot. Big old handle for a jug or something. Old battery still with some of the old paper label still on it there that you can see. So I thought that was kind of cool to show you. Old, I think it would have been Daddy Sauce looking at it. A bit of paper label left. You can just see there pure something vinegar sauce. And this I found quite cool. I don't know if this is another style battery or if it's something else, but it has GPODS5. Um, if anyone knows what it is, and please do drop a comment because I'd love to know for definite what I have found here. As I say, it's probably just a type of battery, but if that can be confirmed or whatnot, that'd be awesome. Sweet. So things have got a little bit weird. Might need your guys' help to identify some of these bits here. We've just had a few strange items pop out. Let me show you. Well, the first thing here, I thought it was a handle at first, but it's like inverted in a bowl, or what would have been a bowl. So maybe a little stand within a bowl for something. If anyone knows what that would have been, let me know. 
we've had this chunk of metal pop out with a T-shape in it. it. Looked like it would have had some green paint at one point. If anyone knows what that would have been for, then please let me know. Continuing on, uh, this, which isn't so strange, but very nice. We've had a two ounce Bovril just here. It still has some of its label on. You can just see the RIL there from the Bovril and I can read enrichment in there as well. So that's very cool. Very nice find that one. Um, oh, had a beer bottle that has Dorchester on the bottom here, Eldridge Pope and Co. But the top's gone, unfortunately. So won't be a keeper. Oh, it's got more around the top here, actually. Huntsman brand, it says around the top there as well. Look. Now, this is where it starts to get a bit strange. So, first of all, I had this piece come out, which is like a glass. I thought a handle at first, but it's actually got a hole in the end there and uh, grooves. Let's focus on their grooves and a hole in this end. So, it's almost like a glass tube or pipe for something. I thought that was odd. And then this bit came out, which is more of the tubey bit. And it's got like a copper brassy top of some kind. If you guys have any idea what this could have been, then please let me know, because I have no idea. And just to top it all off, we got this piece of glass here. Which again, I have no idea what that would be from but very cool, very interesting. So we've had quite a few cool bits today. I'm gonna to have another few minutes digging and then we'll probably call it quits for today and uh, carry on the next day. Okay, so the last couple of finds from today. This screw top, not sure what it would have been. Um, another one ounce bovril. No label on this one, but like getting them always. And we've had this one which is a Seymour's of Sherborne bottle. You can see Seymour's and Sherborne embossed on it there, which I thought was cool. Another bit of this weird glass pipe stuff. Um, a few bits of these, like almost like keys, um, or, um, what was it called? Morse code tapper type looking thing. And that's basically it for today, but, uh, yeah, so we've had quite a few little interesting bits today, and uh, I'll be carrying it on tomorrow. So see you, see you in just a moment. Heading on our way down for day two of a little dig at the dump site. Um, it's not actually day two in a row. I've had a busy weekend. I've had uh, my partner's birthday. Um, we've had a wedding, and I've also had my mum down. So it's been busy, busy, busy. So we'll be cracking on maybe four days later but technically it's day two <laughs> so i'll catch you guys down there i just got down to our spot here and uh, first thing i notice there's a big old key very far gone now but still a cool find so yeah let's hope that that's a good sign for the rest of the day so i've just been clearing a bit of space to dig here and uh Oh, now I've lost it. I did find, just on the surface somewhere, the bottom of an old shotgun cartridge. But it's disappeared on me. Where's it gone? Was here somewhere? Ah, there it is. I'm not making things up, look. There is the bottom of an old shotgun cartridge just there. All right, let's start digging. First bottle, I can kind of see poking through. The base of one just there. Get that root out of the way, just here. Oh. oh, it's broke. All right, no worries. Here's our first thing to pop out properly. Um, it looks like a valve or something. It also looks very similar. In fact, there's glass inside it there, look. I think this is the other end of whatever that weird bendy glass tube thing is we found. And there's the other valve side thing of it. Still no idea what it is, but I'm finding more of it. So, I will clean this up at home. I'm hoping you guys can kind of see it. It's the inside, like the centerpiece of an old oil lamp or whatever, look. 
or whatever, a gas lamp maybe, or an oil, I think it's an oil. But very cool, all made of like copper and stuff that is. Nice little find. Got the head of an old toothbrush just here that's come up. It's quite a cool bit of history. And just over here, I saw it poking out like this. It's a screw top, but it's a nice one. You can see in there a load of cotton wadding and that would be used to keep the contents dry and not getting all moist and you can see on the edge here it tells us what it would have been. BW and Co, so that would be the uh, the maker or supplier and it would have been a tabloid look so we would have had tablets in there and as I say the little cotton wad which is still in there would have been to keep those dry. Little tabloid bottle, that's really cool. Having to put an awful lot of effort in to not get much out today, but uh, we'll continue on. We've got this little bottle though, look. You can see the lines on this side, either side, where there would have been a paper label in the middle there. Uh, not sure what it is, possibly a medicine or something. But yeah, nice little pop top. We've also had this little jar which has got some sort of a label but I can't really make anything out on it not sure what would have been in it maybe some sort of cream or polish followed on by this little jar which has still got all of its nasty looking contents in it and it is nasty looking no I'm not going to drink it no I'm not going to sniff it but the jar looks quite nice with the shape of it there and like this just got to be possibly find of the day for me some sort of a little bird like a flamingo looking type thing made out of copper or something look again very cool very cool all right so i'm gonna have a couple more little digs and then i'll probably just call it quits at that as i say i'm doing a lot of digging for not a lot back at the minute next out look we've had this screw valve thing quite heavy Again, not sure what it's from, but it's some sort of a screw valve looking thing. A lovely little stopper, glass perfume stopper here. Beautiful shape. Gorgeous little stopper. And we've had this. There's a screw top, it's still got half a label there. Look, I can't quite work out what it would have been. I don't think it was vinegar. Hangover? Maybe a hangover cure? Or well, something like that. Still got some contents. Not entirely sure. If anyone recognises the label, then do let me know. But so far, that's my best guess. So those are the three little bits we've had out just then. And we'll have one more go, see what we get out. Uh, we had a few more bits out. In fact, I think I finally figured out what these random things of glass were. Because this one, look, it's got a little hole in it there. And it, it would have hung hung sorry not hang it would have hung off of something now just a reminder because I've got a third one today look they would have looked like that I think it's parts of a chandelier or something isn't it it's gotta be right also had this little I don't know like two-way three-way plug thingy very nice pot just here uh, paste pot uh, maybe toothpaste or maybe fish paste or something like that but very nice to find that one I have this bit of blue and white it's got some sort of a tree or something on it I don't know what way up it goes something like that and last but not least this glass which is absolutely amazing in color it's like all golden until you turn it and then it's every other color so yeah, I thought that was very cool as well. But that'll be me done now then. Oh God, look, the hat's wonky again. That'll be me done now for today. Um, and I'll catch you guys on the next adventure. So cheers for joining me. See you next time.